I wouldn't be surprised, however, if it's one of the East Asian cities ultimately that gets perhaps one of the, the smaller in a smaller in you know in inverted commas nothing small in, in, in China. But seeing they haven't actually joined C4 yet, but seeing the, the mayor of Zhenjiang in um, in Beijing uh, last month uh, talking about this is a, a city that confounds all the expectations of, of Chinese cities where that it's been being planned that over half of the space will be green. So not just the great tower blocks and concrete, uh, a total focus on on mobility through through mass transit, but but also really u- utilizing the, the concepts of the smart city. And I think that there's there's some benefit here for the cities that are, are developing most recently and very rapidly that they can they can leapfrog. Just as many global south cities have, have never had uh, landline tele- telephony, they've gone straight to mobile phones. I think we'll see cities here that really are able to run on data, use this use the kind of whole smart city thinking to be very very efficient very high quality green green design buildings. There's much harder for the equally ambitious mayors like the, the Mayor Garcetti in Los Angeles, one of our leading mayors, but what a tough challenge he has starting from where Los Angeles do, does. All the, the mayors in, in Houston similarly mean, mean some of our leaders. It'll be tougher for them to get to carbon neutrality, but, but they will get there.